Hi everybody, I'm your director Jonathan Russell, and get ready for a special extension or a special feature of the Star Wars vs. Star Trek 6 documentary. As you saw from the opening credits, we'll be interviewing Justin Smith, getting his unique view on the movie, asking the same questions from the original documentary. So hang on to your seat. This is going to be a really interesting interview. Hit the first question. You know, when Jonathan first told me he was making Star Wars vs. Star Trek 6, I told him, hey, you know, are you sure the world's ready for something that amazing? And he told me, of course they are. I'm the, you know, and the way he directs his movies is just something, you know, I think everybody should take notes from. So when he told me about it, I was obviously excited. And I felt the cast, you know, the members coming back and the new cast members really were going to execute the roles that they had pretty well. You know, first off, coming back, you know, after not being in the movie for, you know, since the third one, uh, it was, it was a little bit like it's been a long time and you really want to bring that character back out, even if you, you know, you left it, you know, away for two years. But, uh, but coming back to that character, I, it's always challenging to become, you know, somebody and act like somebody else, but, uh, I felt like Kirk's character really fit with my acting style, and, uh, in regards to, you know, what he did in the movie, where he almost kills Killian's sister, I think that was a really good character development when he realized what he did, you know. He did something kind of wrong, but, you know, what he didn't know. And I feel like showing that, you know, he's kind of human and can make mistakes too is a, a good character thing. Well, the filming we did was a little tricky because, you know, we're filming all at different times and all at different locations and piecing it all together, so you really have to be on top of things and have a good director and good cameraman to fit everything together since you know, you're not shooting it in the right order, so... The production's a really important aspect, and it really takes a skilled director for that sort of thing. And in this movie, the production value as far as editing and putting everything together was done really well. And it takes a lot to, you know, piece everything together, the music, the editing, the scenes, the special effects, but uh, it all came together really well. I think people are going to enjoy it. Well, the editing for Star Wars vs. Star Trek VI even better than the fifth one. I think the addition for some special effects such as the lightning we saw was a really good advancement. I think it adds a lot more element of action in the fight scenes. And just the whole editing from scene to scene I felt was a little better in this movie. So people who enjoyed the, the fifth one, the fourth one, the third one, they're going to enjoy this one a lot more from the editing aspect. <clears throat> well, the music in Star Wars vs. Star Trek VI was pretty good. Uh, I feel like it's important to have the right kind of music for the right scenes because it adds emotional aspects to it. If you have no music, sometimes it's a silent scene that can say a lot more than music could, but without music, a movie's really not complete. So when uh, the director selected the music, I think he did a really excellent job. The music really fit, really gets the action scenes exciting. You can you can kind of feel the excitement, even though you're not in the movie. You kind of feel like you know you're part of it with the kind of music. Well, working with the crew on the movie was, it's always a good time. People, you know, I know everybody from the other movies and didn't really come in contact too much with the new actors in the movie, but they seemed pretty cool. Uh, as usual, working with Jonathan and Rebecca is always fun. We all get along real well. We have some fun. Uh, you know, behind the camera, it's still just as exciting as off camera. <laughs> and when there's, you know, mistakes and stuff, we all have a good laugh about it. So It's really important to have the right kind of actors when they're not on the camera so everyone gets along because if people don't get along it doesn't work out so well I think it could cause some issues with the production of the movie so it was good that we found such a good crew of actors for this movie well you know having five movies already it's an important thing to finish the series with a big bang and a really good closing movie so that's a really big challenge I think but the way we approach that really, really finish the series well, I think. With the inner battles of, you know, Killian and then uh, the twin, you know, and fighting the evil twin off and then the good twin. You need you need a new villain still, but you need a good ending, I think. I feel like you need the good to win and everybody to kind of come together. So we need to end a movie like that. I think that's an important way to do it. And the whole film itself really had a good 
tone to it. I felt like you, there's some good takeaway messages. Even if you make a mistake or have some fighting, you, know, you can fix that. You can go back to not fighting. So I really appreciated that aspect of the movie. Thank you for watching this uh, exclusive interview. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to be in the documentary of the film, but I was glad to do this special interview. So, thank you for everybody who watched the film, and hopefully I can see you in the next films to come. You know, when Jonathan first told me we were making Star Wars vs. Star Trek Episode 6, you know, I was I was really happy to hear that because I can't talk at all. Because I'm a little weird, yeah, that's what we do.